This video is brought to you by the Crazy Aquarium Guy. What's up, fish lovers? Welcome to Sax Tags, Crazy Aquarium Guy. Today we're gonna do a complete overhaul and rescape of the 75 gallon cube, but it's gonna be a quick one because I'm gonna pull out a lot of plants, and when I do that, the 75 gallon cube gets murky and muddy, and you can't see anything anyway. But we're also gonna introduce the angels, and I actually bought bought more of them. So we're gonna have a cleaner look and yeah it's been amazing to have that big green cube but I have, I've had that now for over two years so now I wanna enjoy open swimming space and see my fish more. So stay tuned. Hello guys, this is the day after the last video. I had to go back and buy five more. So now I have ten gonna put them with the other guys in the quarantine tank they looked so good when they colored up so and I knew he only had never seen them before in the store it's the angel bicolor angelfish uh, the black gets a lot darker when they're not stressed so so for today's video I'm gonna this is probably before ah no matter I'm gonna have 10 annual fish in the 75 gallon cube. Stay tuned. <laughs> Sorry for the glare, guys, but I wanna take care of this aquarium and give it an overhaul. Change some filters, clean up some of the filters in the back. I have tons. I have like 10 kilos of ceramic and bigger sponges. Probably the same as three FX6 for just this aquarium, so I never have to do it. But the impeller on the return pump, the Eheim Compact, needs to be cleaned once every fourth month, maybe. And the filter in the back, once every 14 months, something like that. But I'm gonna do some things. I'm gonna clean the impeller, and I'm gonna take away some of the stuff in the front here, because now we have the same problem that we had before. Can't really see how deep this tank aquarium is because the beautiful Gigantia is taking over again. The Valisneria, the biggest one. But take these out and we don't waste anything because the giant ram's horns, they love eating Valisneria. So it's just food for them for a week or more. Uh, yeah, because we're gonna introduce the angels. So we want to have more open swimming spaces for the angels so we can enjoy them, right? So I'm going to do a big water change, clean the glass, pull out these uh, plants and it's going to make a mess. Clean the impeller, it's going to make a mess and fill it up again when it's new and beautiful. So take a good look now and see the difference when I've done it. Have to In progress, looks like shit. But I took out this bucket is three gallon bucket full of really nice Valisneria but I've been keeping Valisneria in this tank for so long I want to do something else I didn't take all of it out maybe I will take all of it out and do something completely new I don't know I just want to I need something new in the fish room because since I started a new job in late June um, I haven't been able to enjoy my aquariums and work with them and do rescapes because I've been too busy. I'm just been coming home, do 90% water change on 14 aquariums, check, uh, do the glasses so they look nice and feed them and take a look at each tank and see if someone is sick and stuff like that. So I, I don't have, I don't have any time to just enjoy or enjoy my hobby and do rescapes and videos so that's what I'm doing this just to do something so I don't lose uh, the interest in the hobby <laughs> so some angel fish is going in after I've taken a lot more stuff out need to clean the glass some hard to get rid of algae hopefully I have I bought this one super good 
so this can clean on the edges as well as you can see this aquarium has it's one big piece it's not silicone together in the edges and this is just I don't know 25% of the mechanical uh, mechanical media that I'm gonna rinse out ah, because this 10 kilo ceramic and a lot, of, a lot of other things in the back you see I can't talk while I'm working sorry guys I wanted to show you how it looks during process so this is not fun to look at have to wait for the water to go down do some more change it fill it up maybe take it down again but stay tuned <laughs> it will be fun to look at in the end so the scape is done guys sorry for the glare So much simpler scape, just Malaysian driftwood, normal java fern, java fern trident, some Valisneria I forgot to take out, Anubias borderi and java fern windalove. So this is it now, my 10 new angels. simple some things is better and th some things is not better I mean now I can see my horrible intake I did myself that's not nice but no matter which side I'm at I can see the fish I can even see the plecos in the caves so I like it here's when I sit in my awesome chair you can see a nice candy stripe pleco back there. Four of them in here, if you remember. And I can see the fish all the time. So I like it a lot better. There is another guy. And the angels are doing great. I know 10 angels in 75 gallon cube. Maybe... Could be enough. <laughs> could be too much I mean but I have space if needed they will go great with the rainbows if they start to fight or when they get really big so don't worry about that tell me what do you think about the scape really simple but now I can enjoy my cube in another way I can just see all my fish all the time I also scooped out a bunch of guppies but they keep hanging around at the top because I wanted a little bit more fish very sad to see how many green neons I actually lost <laughs> when I took out all the plants it's not many left in here maybe 25 or something 30 but you know how it is but I can see my plate close a lot and I like that and these angels are gonna get more and more beautiful now they've only been here for two days so when they calm down gonna get better colors but it respond a lot to me already and they are not afraid at all I like that maybe that's common with angelfish I just don't know because I haven't kept them since I was a child so I don't even know why because I love them already so this is today's video guys, hope you liked it, see you in the next one, thanks for watching.